Every time I try to get out, they pull me back in. If you don't know that line, something wrong with you. That line is one of the most iconic lines in film history. It's from Godfather 3. Now, Godfather 3 is ranked third out of all the Godfathers, true enough. But that line right there, you can see it across social media. It's become a meme and all that kind of stuff. But it is fitting for this moment. Because every time I try to turn the page and just say, okay, I'm just going to cover Prime and whatever he does out there in Colorado, just like I would cover any other notable cat who is of interest to the black community. And him being Prime and him being the former head coach of Jackson State University and some of our players going out there, yeah, it's of interest to black people. But when I want to just cover that, this man got to do something. Or somebody in his camp got to do something with some bullshit. Whew! And I'm not one of those people who lets bullshit stand. I've told y'all before, America, Michelle Obama said when they go low, we go high. But I ain't Michelle. I'm first. And I say, when they go low, I take it to the flow. You understand me? Because I'm sick of the bullshit. This shit is getting out of hand. So we got to talk about it. But before we do, make sure y'all hit that subscribe button. Put all your people on it. This is the realest, most entertaining sports show in the game. Let's put it on something. I am your homeboy first. You feel me? Like I said, make sure you hit that subscribe button. Join the channel and become an official member. You know, tomorrow become one of the realest ones. Uh, feel free to hit that cash app. Anything you give goes back to the business as we continue our quest to become the, the Amazon, the Walmart of black culture. You understand? All right. Now that I got my blood pressure back down. Let's get into it. America, if you missed it, Coach Brian Deion Sanders has come for journalist Jeff Lightsey Jr. Okay. Some of you may be subscribed to his channel. You may have watched his channel before. You may uh, follow him on social media. Okay. M Mr. Lightsey, you know, he's a journalist, you know, in this game. You know what I'm talking about? Uh, and seemingly Coach Prime didn't like something that Mr. Lysa tweeted, you know, in, 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 in the uh, midst of uh, the reactions to his daughter claiming that a murder happens at Jack State University every couple of months. Uh, Mr. Lysa tweeted out something to the effect of you know, he loved the fact that all these people were coming for Prime's daughter's lies. You know what I'm saying? Or like they calling out her lies and, you know, he's here for it. Something to that effect. Something like that. Uh, and I guess Prime said, I got time today. And he DM'd Mr. Lightsey. Okay. And, uh... I guess in the DMs, he called himself dropping his receipts finally. You know what I'm saying? All the, the, these receipts he keep talking about. You know what I'm talking about? Uh, remember he, he came back and said he don't play by his kids and I kept the receipts and I'm him. Remember that shit? Well, I guess he called himself sharing the receipts. Okay. 
And he, I guess he alleges basically that his, his daughter didn't lie. That she wasn't giving misinformation. Oh. Uh, like, I, I, I don't know what the fuck. If only one person got killed, Prime. And she said murders happen every couple months. How the fuck is that not misinformation? Damn it. But then he come with talking about all the cars that were broken into, talking about his shit got robbed four times, well, four broken up four times, or something like that. Uh talked about how the university lied about the, the initial time that it happened when somebody got caught and tried to say that his shit was misplaced. Uh, said that a homeless man came to a girl's dorm with a knife. So I guess he's just dropping all the shit, I guess, that he claimed the world don't know nothing about. Uh, I guess as proof that what his daughter was saying will, had some validity. But that ain't what his daughter said. His daughter didn't say, yeah, they had a murder on campus and then there was a you know, some other things, uh, other crimes that happened as well. And woo, woo, woo. no, she said the murder happened every couple of months on the fucking campus. That's just flat out wrong. The best thing to do is just own that that was wrong and move the fuck on. That, that, that was wrong. But when it comes to all the other shit he named That's bad if it happened now. We got to remember who's talking now. But if that happened, that's bad. No way around that. But if he's going to call that out, I need him to DM uh, uh, whoever the equivalent of uh, Mr. Lights out there and, and, and bold him. And tell them what the fuck is going on out there in Colorado. Because I've mentioned this before. I mentioned this article. And shout out to the King of Queen who, who, who found this initially and put it out there on Twitter. That's when I was exposed to it. Okay, after his daughter made it, those bullshit comments. Uh, but this article published on October 3rd. So before he took the job officially, b before he got up there and made his speech and talking about the lack of crime out there, this was published. Okay? Now, real ones, if you watched my reaction to her comment previously, you've heard this already, but if you're new to the channel, peep this. This article's headline states, it's terrifying. CU students warn of escalating violence on University Hill. Watch how crazy this is. Okay, watch how crazy this is. He's talking about uh, motherfuckers breaking into shit, right? This is a quote from the article. It says, Olsen, who's a senior here, this a senior named Jack Olsen. Olsen said, groups of people armed with guns have been coming to the hill every Saturday night, looking to break into fraternity houses, steal things, and start fights. Let Prime tell you, this type of shit only happened at Jack State University, I get. These motherfuckers are strapped up coming up there to get it in. Okay? It, it, it keeps going at his fraternity. Olsen said a group of 20 people tried to push down the exterior fence and break in a few weeks ago. Since then, he's heard about similar incidents at other houses or apartments in the area. Oh, shit, that happens outside of Jackson? I thought that only happened on Lynch Street. It continues. It's terrifying, really. Olsen said, 
I shouldn't have to call my mom at 3.30 in the morning on the verge of tears because these people keep coming up the boat every weekend trying to cause harm. This is out there in the land of milk and honey. Why he ain't DMing somebody about this? Y'all open up them DMs out there on that West Coast. They might got something to say to y'all. Maybe that's what it is. Maybe he's trying to tell somebody the information and y'all not trying to receive it. Fuck we talking about? He said a homeless man came to the girl's dorm with a knife, right? Okay. From this same article. It continues. Since the school year started, I've seen guys with knives. I've seen guys with guns. I've seen guys threatening with guns, says Sean Whitlock, whose Rocky Mountain Security Company provides armed guards for fraternity events on the hill. It's scary. It's gotten to the point, I mean, being in Boulder used to be fun. And right now, it's not fun. I guess Prime and them think they brought the fun back. Because these motherfuckers sound scared. Sound like the same shit you talking about going on at Jack State Camp going on out there? When all this shit could have been avoided. When all this shit is being put out here to try to justify this man who tried to uh, sell himself as the savior of black people, tried to sell himself as a modern day Muhammad Ali, tried to save, sell himself a, a, as the sports version of Dr. King or some shit, and then went straight on out there to work for Trump supporters. Come on, man. Fuck we talking about? Fuck we talking about? All that got to be done here. Hey, came to Jack State, prove I could coach. That's what I got out of it. Jack State got out of it. Uh, 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 kicking the ass to a, 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 a program that was in hibernation. You know what I'm saying? But that, that's a blue blood HBCU program. You know what it's about? Revitalize it. So they got that. I got to prove myself. Uh, you know, it wasn't a bad breakup. You know, we went on our separate ways, but I still support them. And I hope uh, they will always support me. You feel? Boom! Boom! That's it. Who's the PR person? Who's the, who's the media consultant? Where they at? Shit, they need to be fired. This shit getting out of hand, dog. Man got a, a top 25 recruiting class from what I'm seeing from 24 Self Sport. God damn it. But 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 you're lagging behind Oregon and and, and, and uh, uh uh USC out there. You got UCLA on your ass. Better come on with it. So you had the top class over here and still wasn't able to get the black national championship. Got the swag. But now, out there, shit, you ain't even got the top talent in your, in, in your conference. You got shit to worry about out there. You got shit to worry about. You got Nebraska head coach talking shit to you. You got shit to worry about out there. God damn, T.C. Taylor got this over here. It's Gucci. And that now, now, to be fair, okay, you all he defending his daughter. Okay. That's understandable. As a father, that's understandable. Okay. She ain't got to sit here and tell no fucking lie. Just say uh, you thought the tweet was, I don't know, distasteful because it could be viewed as someone was celebrating people coming for your child. Okay, cool. But all this other shit, like them the receipts, those are the receipts. DM Jeff Lightson. When, when them folks get to calling you the N-word out there, if y'all ass ain't winning, DM, DM him then. DM Jeff Lightsey 
if, if, if they get to uh Shador be up in class and shit, and they get in one of these contentious discussions about critical race theory and shit, and all this shit that's going on in this country right now. Do that. We got presidential politics finna pop off. You know, folks start showing out around that time. We we want to hear about that. Or let us know about some of the crime. Hell, I ain't even got to go to the racial aspect. Let, let, let us know about some of the crime out there, but you ain't going to do that. God damn, dog. Damn. This shit got out of hand, man. I'm hoping we can turn the fucking page. Turn the damn page. Okay? Do your thing. Coach him up. Tyler Brown out there, man. Cam out there. You know, we still fuck with Shadur. Hopefully Shadur, you know, it's even tough with him because that's his father. You know what I'm saying? And, and you know, people like me being very critical of his father, but that's his father. You can understand if he feels some type of way about some of us back here who are critical of his pops, you know, to my, but, you know, outside of even thinking about that, you know, you down with the kid, Travis down with the kid. God damn. Trying to fuck up folks that want to support you with all the bullshit. Hey, right, just stop. Just stop. But I know one thing, motherfucker better not goddamn DM me. Don't DM me, Jack. I have no bullshit. I'm read you. I'm read you. There's a lot of bullshit in them DMs. I'm going to read a motherfucker. Don't play with me. And need to quit playing Mr. Lysy. Lysy too, but don't play with first. Please don't. I get down on your ass like I had to get down on Mr. Roland Martin ass. I had it, you know, I could have called him something right then. My daughter said I was body shaming. I got to stop that. You know, shout out to my baby. My baby wants to make daddy a better man. I love you, poo poo. Okay. See what I did there? You're gonna be proud of that. All right. But I, I ain't finna play with that with him or nobody. I don't give a fuck about no Hall of Fame, Jack. Fuck that. We all human beings and he a man, I'm a motherfucking man. And I'm not finna stand for no bullshit when you're going against the people. I'm not gonna stand for that. Especially you're supposed to be this goddamn born again Christian. You supposed to be on the side of the downtrodden people, not up here uh, trying to highlight uh, all the bullshit that's going on. You supposed to be trying to to uh, uh, empathize with those people who come from those backgrounds and those people who even do that shit. I thought Jesus was, Jesus was, was uh, uh, with the sinners, not with the saints. He was preaching to the sinners. He was trying to save souls, right? Come on now. Not trying to point. You think he was walking around Jerusalem trying to highlight all, 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 all the shit that was going down wrong to, to prop himself up? Could have sworn the book I read said when they crucified him that he said, forgive them, Father, for they know not what they do. Could have sworn that's what he said. But this man, he'll just keep throwing stone, throwing stone. Could have sworn the book said as well. He without he he who is without sin cast the first stone. Guess this motherfucker thing he got down sinless out here. And the place he is, it, he, he moved to the Garden of Eden and shit. Pre the apple being eaten. Come on, bro. Popping all that church shit till it's time to be uh, uh, godly. Popping all that church shit until it's time to be godly. When you when you face with uh, uh, the effects of poverty, 
you are you 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 face with the effects of people being downtrodden. That's your moment right there to show who who really about that damn life when you face with that. That's when it's time to show that shit. What you gonna do then? And I faced that shit heads on. I told y'all my what my life was as a teacher. I've been disrespected. I've been threatened. I've been hit in the face. My card and got broke in. I hadn't been through it all up in that classroom. And I still talk to those kids. Because I knew what the situation was. I knew I understood why I was going through what I was going through. The factors that contributed to that. And so I had to walk in there every day and still try to motivate and, and, and inspire those young people and educate those young people and, and, and try to get them up out of school. And just hope that one day down the line, they did it. Instead of just cast aspersions on them to try to prop myself up and make myself look holier than thou. Fuck we talking about, man. Fuck we talking about. One murder. And that's one too many. And if any of that other shit he talking about that DM happened, that shit was wrong. But that shit goes on everywhere. And if we're going to call it out of Jackson State and try to make, make it seem like that's the reason why he left the school. You better call it out out there at, at, at Boulder. Because there's some fuck shit going on out there too. Put it on some. Thank you so much for watching my daddy's YouTube channel. Make sure you like, share, and turn on your post notifications. Okay, how do I do it?